Item number SCP-6350. Object class Safe. Update Euclid. Special containment procedures. Pending revision. SCP-6350 is contained in a level 3 standard containment locker on the ground floor of Site 205. Access requires prior authorization from Site Command. All individuals exposed to SCP-6350 with clearance levels higher than D-Class must undergo psychological evaluation upon the completion of testing. Description SCP-6350 is a VHS tape manufactured sometime between 1984 and 1989 by Jacko Incorporated. Contents of SCP-6350 cannot be erased or otherwise taped over. Though other standard VHS functions such as rewinding or fast forwarding remain possible, a blue and yellow Jacko label is present on the front face of the tape. There are no obvious physical abnormalities present. When inserted into a VHS player of any kind, SCP-6350 will begin playing a roughly 1 hour and 93 minute long film entitled My Room at Seaback, credited as having been directed by Roger Ewell. Foundation research suggests Roger Ewell does not exist. My Room at Seaback henceforth designated SCP-6351 depicts a series of events and an establishment referred to as the Seaback Hotel. Its precise location is never disclosed, though it is assumed to be located in the United States. The appearance of the film set, the actor's wardrobe, the general tone of the film, and other factors vary by each viewing, possibly due to the background of the viewer. Typically, the plot concerns a British spy and a female American accomplice using the Seaback Hotel as a staging area to apprehend a Russian operative. At exactly one hour and three minutes into the film, SCP-6351 will abruptly cut to an interior view of a room at the Seaback Hotel, with the two lead actors present, seated on the room's bed and staring directly at the camera. Notably, this occurs regardless of the context of prior scenes. In one viewing, a sequence involving a car chase cut to the aforementioned scene. The actors remain in this position for an additional nine minutes, at which point the male actor will open his mouth. The female actor will then slowly enter the male actor's mouth head first, stretching as she moves in the process similar to the phenomenon of spaghettification. Experienced in gravitational singularities, the female actor remains conscious throughout this process and loudly screams, picking the tape's audio. Ballistic blood and gore is produced as the female actor's bones snap out of place and her muscles are ripped from the tendons. When the female actor has been fully consumed, the male actor will make an exaggerated slipping sound, speak in a voice dramatically lower than the voice used during the rest of the film, and smile at the camera before the tape cuts to black. Subjects exposed to SCP-6351 report being considerably disturbed afterward, and often have trouble sleeping with some cases resulting in a diagnosis of general anxiety disorder or psychosis. Should an individual exposed to SCP-6351 view the film again, the slipping scene will not be present and the film will conclude normally, though this causes an even more severe psychological reaction in the subject often leading to paranoid tendencies and redacted. Addendum 1. Incident 6351. On date expunged. While viewing a non anomalous VHS copy of Terminator 2 as part of an unrelated test, Dr. Richardson reported an abnormality during the film's climax. The T 800, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger, 
appear to consume John Connor, played by Edward Furlong, in a manner similar to that of the aforementioned scene in SCP-6351. John Connor screams for approximately 35 minutes, with multiple muscles and bones popping through the upper dermis until his death. Subsequent analysis confirmed that this copy of Terminator 2 was present at Site 205 in relatively close proximity to SCP-6350. The containment procedures have been revised. Addendum 2 Incident 6352 On date expunged, while viewing CCTV security footage from Site 205, Security Agent Franklin reported an event on Tape 305 between Agents Carlson and Harriet, similar to that of SCP-6351. Chiefly, Agent Carlson redacted Agent Harriet, resulting in the loss of all tissues save for teeth, hair, and nail fragments. Agents Carlson and Harriet are alive as of this writing and express no knowledge of any of the events depicted in Tape 305. For the revision of SCP-6350's containment procedures is pending. Addendum 3 Incident 6353 On date expunged, several members of Site 205 staff reported hearing the phrase slurp slurp over the site PA system. The PA system is subsequently disabled and a thorough analysis of the access log is ongoing. Addendum 4 Incident 6354 Redacted Addendum 5 Incident 6355 Following Incident 6354 and the associated catastrophic loss of human life, SCP-6350 has been reclassified as Euclid by direct order of O5 Command. All cameras and video recording equipment have been removed from Site 205 pending revision of the special containment procedures. Given the high number of individuals recorded by Site 205 security cameras prior to Incident 6354, full containment of SCP-6350's anomalous properties is unfeasible. All previous site personnel have been temporarily detained. Any stretching of feelings of joint pain from these individuals are to be treated as a containment breach. Current site casualties caused by SCP-6305 stand at 7. Addendum 6 Incident 6356 On subsequent playbacks, SCP-6351 has changed dramatically. Chiefly, the scene in which the male actor consumes the female actor is now the only scene in the film, but neither actor is present. SCP-6351 depicts an empty hotel room for approximately one and a half hours, with occasional human vocalizations present in the background. Following boosting of the game on recordings of SCP-6351, research staff were able to make out sounds consistent with laughing, retching, slurping, and consumption of flesh. The quality of this audio was noted as dramatically higher than would be expected from a VHS tape. 